Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got my fourth completion to show you for the hashtag 30 by 40 DP along 24. And yeah, it's this gorgeous picture of a little Scotty dog and a little Jack Russell uh, talking to a cat up a tree. <laughs> This one actually came to me from Diamond Dark Gift in April 23. So I've had it a year and I finally got it done. Yay! And this one will be going on the wall. Um, I know Paula will particularly like this one because she has a little Jack Russell. So it's like Millie and Alfie sat together underneath the tree with the little fluffy cat. <laughs> And that does look a little bit like uh, my little fluffy Gemma that I used to have a long, long time ago. So, yay! It's like them both together. Do you think they were having a conversation and the little kittens just come along and started listening and the Jack Russell saying, well, how rude is that? We were having a conversation and now we've got somebody listening in. <laughs> So this is gorgeous and I absolutely love it. Uh, the price of it was only $4.99 as well. So, and as far as I know, it is still on the website. Um, I'll hopefully put the link down below for you. Uh, I'll dig it out and have a look. But yeah, it went down really, really well. Um, I actually kitted this one up off camera and because uh, I just wanted to get it done. I just... Uh, Things have been stressful uh, lately and I just wanted to crack on and do some diamond painting and not necessarily film it. So this is one that I've just got done and I'm so pleased I did. I think the detail shows up really well. And it does amaze me that, you know, I know everybody always says, oh, you need bigger paintings to get the detail. Well, you do if you want in specific, really fine detail. But if you're just needing a picture that's got detail on it and does look good, then 30 by 40s are fine. There is nothing wrong with 30 by 40 paintings. And it is my favourite size to do. So, yay! <laughs> anyway, let's crack on and get this one kitted down. And, uh, yeah, then I can get this one put on my wall. Yay! It's only 23 colours, so it won't take much kitting down. There's not many to go. Let me get all my bits and pieces out of here so that wants to go in there for now so it can go in my log book and then when i cut the edges off the painting uh, they will also go in my log book as well so i've got a tray i've got my gems i've got box number one and um, this is my rounds and i do have a box the same for square drills i've got two boxes for rounds two boxes for squares and it's all based on Rebecca Admore Zest storage system and basically for every DMC number you have um, a little bag with the gems in and in front of the bag is a little card with the number on so as you kick down all you're looking for is the number to put the bag in so yay as long as you get your correct bag you're fine <laughs> that's the theory anyway I'm just going to take that a little bit of uh, polystyrene out of the front there because it's just a little bit full in that one i know it's not that long since i tidied it out but uh, doing this 30 by 40 challenge they are mainly round gems that i'm doing and uh, yeah so i'm filling this up again after i've emptied it all out i'm filling it back up <laughs> right so let's get cracking we want number 157 so let's have a look for number 157 and it is there. It's this lovely powder baby blue. Just move those back. Move that slightly that way. And move these back a bit as well. So you can see what I'm doing. So how is everybody doing? I hope that life is treating you as kindly as possible. And uh, yeah, that you are having a good time at the moment. Uh, big hugs and uh, woofs from Millie for anybody that needs them at the moment as well. Uh, my mum is still poorly. So yeah, we're um, still looking into all that at the moment and doing things. But we did manage to get out at the weekend. 166. And uh, we went to the Bridlington Kite Festival. So, yay, it was great. The weather was gorgeous. Um, my sister had gone to see my mum, so, you know, we knew that my mum and dad were okay. Oh, look at the static in those. You can see when they start jumping about in the bag and sticking and not going down properly that there's static getting in them. Oh, dear. 
it's uh, my mum and dad were being looked after we just uh, popped up to the Bridlington Kite Festival uh, we did go I don't I can't remember whether it was last year or the year before I've got a funny feeling it might have been two years ago I did put uh, a video of us going there so I'll do the same again this time once I've got it edited I'm uh, not at home so much at the moment so um yeah I'm not getting everything done that I need to get done I tell you every time uh, I start an event or decide I'm doing something something else happens so <laughs> yeah anyway we'll see fingers crossed nothing happens in june because we are doing the uh, 30 things in 30 days um i will do a separate video for that as well that will be coming this week as well so yay oh this is a lovely sort of forget-me-not blue color bluey gray color lovely this one so yeah anyway we went to the kite festival um we got there sort of one o'clock-ish, which I know is we should probably have got there earlier on. Uh, but the parking was absolute chaos. Um, one car park at one side of it. Bridlington's quite spread out along the coast. Um, and one of the car parks we went into first. And I remember exactly the same thing happened last time we went. Um, and it was just like a bun fight, basically. There was just cars parked everywhere and it looked as though people had seen what they thought was a spot and just parked there and there was people blocked in and you know you literally rather than it being nice straight rows so you could go up and down rows there was literally one row going all the way around the outside of the car park so that must have taken us about 20 minutes once we got into the car park to get out of it again um i did a couple of times think oh i'll try and just because we're not waiting to park here we're going to go elsewhere i tried to go down sort of a little row thinking i'd be able to get out at the end and i couldn't and then i had to do a three-point turn and come back again so yeah that was just absolute chaos why there wasn't any parking attendance there i don't know because it would have made life so much easier and obviously when it's parking involved and it's a hot day and people are wanting to get to the event where they're going, there was a few frayed tempers about. Uh, not as many as you would expect, to be honest, but I suppose that's because people couldn't actually get out of the cars anyway. Uh, <laughs> you could see the kites in the distance anyway. Um, we had Millie with us, so she was a really hot dog in the car. So we had all the car windows open for a poor little pup. Um, yeah, she was very, very hot and bothered um, and she was drinking gallons of water. We always take plenty with us anyway. Um, she has her, there, pop, just throw everything all over, Liz. She has her posh little bottle that you press the button and the water comes out, you know, and things like that. So she's always well catered for. Uh, yeah, probably more than us, to be fair. But no, I have a little cool bag now that um, whenever we go out anywhere, uh, we always take the cool bag and there's a drink for me, a drink for hubby, drink for my friend who came with us and then Millie's water's in there as well. So I know it doesn't keep it really, really cold, but at least it's not yucky warm when you start uh, drinking your drink. It's just juice. We don't have any fizzy drinks or anything because they tend not to react overly well in uh, hot weather. <laughs> We've had a few... Um, places that we've been and opened up a can of uh, something and it's just gone whoop, everywhere and exploded around the car shall we say and uh, in uh, previous uh, days when hubby was driving and things and yeah it tended to be what did he used to drink oh dr pepper that seemed to be overly fizzy for whatever reason whenever he had that it just seemed to explode whenever he opened it so I've actually been driving along. Well, he's been driving along and I've had the window down. No, no, not so, something safe to do. Don't try this at home. Um, and opening the can or the bottle um, out of the window so that if it did explode, it wasn't in the car. <laughs> oh, we've done some mad things. Yes, um, don't do it in front of the children. <laughs> He's saying, if that explodes in my car, I'm not going to be happy. Is that 8-1 or is that 6-1? I think it must be 8-1 because it's not that one. So let's have a look at 8-1. 5-8-1. Oh, that's the right colour look. Yay! It helps when you've got the colour already in the bag because if there hadn't have been any in there, I would have probably put them in the wrong one. Because, yeah, I can't read these. They're a little bit blurry, but then they are sort of the photocopy of the canvas. So 
Spooler could have always looked on the canvas, but why, why make life easy for yourself, Liz? <laughs> so, yeah, we saw quite a few of the kites and we saw a lot of the um, sort of like top kite stunt people um, doing their sort of kite manoeuvring and flying. I mean, it's not just putting it on a string now and letting it blow back in the breeze. They literally do. Um, oh, hello. Hello, are you all right? Are you a hot dog? Hello, have you come to join me? Hey, oh dear, are you not talking today? Are you just such a tired pup because it's been such a long weekend that you want to stay there? Oh, sweetie, oh, say hello to the people. Say hello. Oh, is that nice? Just your sweet spot. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been joined by the lovely Millie who was just sat puffing and panting away down there. She can come on my knee in a minute. Just let me put these gems away, sweetie pie. I can't have a dog on my knee while I'm trying to do this. I'm good at spilling as it is. I don't need to be uh, having extra help. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the, the stunts were just amazing. You know, it, it's like just stop dead and then spin round really fast and then go off in another direction. I have tried to video it a little bit. Um, I have sort of caught some of it, but because there's a lot of things going on in the background, it doesn't look quite as effective as uh, it would do if you were just sort of watching it over a blank background or something. But it's amazing what they can do. And there was two men doing it together, um, having the kites flying. Like, In fact, at one bit, there was three men uh, flying the kites together and doing all these manoeuvres. And you're like... Goodness me, how are you not crossing the strings on the kites and getting all taffled up? I mean, whenever we've had a kite, I've always had them taffled anyway. And that's just like one kite on one string. Because <laughs> all these sort of like posh kites now have got like two fine strings on them so that they can do the manoeuvres. But oh, it's just mind blowing. Brilliant. There is some exceptionally clever people out there. And uh, yeah, I think it ought to be an Olympic sport because it's just amazing. Really, really good. And we saw lots of different ones. The big crocodile was there. I seem to think that was there last time. And there was dragons and all sorts of different balloons. There was a little car that came out later on. They do different things at different times during the day. It does start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So we were quite late getting there, but it goes on till four o'clock. So we were like halfway through uh, 7.20. And it's free to get in as well if you can find anywhere to park. We were very lucky. Um because we went up to the car park at the other side of the field where it happens and there was actually parking attendants there so they were parking people and uh, she managed to park us because I said really we need you know hubby's disabled so let me take that out as well I've got one in each one so I, I said to the uh, lady that was parking as oh you know we could really do with a bit wider space so she put us next to the path so that we had like the path width to get Hubby out into his wheelchair and everything. So that was really good. So, you know, they were really nice, really looked after us. It was uh, a bit hard pushing him over the grass though, because it was like the cliff top. So it's all grassy and uh, quite bumpy as well. And uh, my friend started off pushing Hubby because she likes to push him. She likes to have the stability of the uh, wheelchair to push along. And... Yeah, she had to give up in the end because it was really hard going and coming back, it was up like Thanks. a crease um, going up. So, you know, we were like going up a sort of like a, a fairly flattish, but it was still going up in like a hill. Um, yeah, it took a bit of doing. So my arms are aching today um, after being there yesterday. <laughs> Seven, four, one. Yeah, so, but it was a lovely day and we just sat out. Um, on the cliff top as well, we um, there was there's lots of benches to look out over the cliff top. A lot of them have got people's names on where somebody has set uh, like donated the bench in memory of somebody, so that's really good. And we looked out out to sea, and there's um, an old boat called the Yorkshire Bell. And I can remember going on it when I was a child. In fact, I can remember going on it when I went on a brownie trip, would you believe? Right, just let me grab the next box. Okay, dog. 
8832 so yeah i can remember going on it on this uh, brownie trip as i say and uh, yeah all i can remember is that we looked at it and we thought it was huge it was you know because to us it was and it was probably the first boat i ever went on um like passion passenger boat it was um yeah big to us but it rocked so much i believe it's got a lot better stabilizers and things on it now it doesn't hold that many people it's not that many big but it has been going years um hubby was brought up um and lived in bridlington in his younger days and uh, he actually worked on the yorkshire bell so that's quite a strange thought thinking that he might have been oh there in oh no that's eight three now uh, yeah, he might have actually been working on the Yorkshire Bell when I was in brownies. <laughs> no, I don't think the ages quite work out, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I know my friend said she went on school trips, so uh, hubby could have been working there when she went on her school trip. Um, she's a little bit older than me, so yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I was exceptionally seasick and I just remember um, all of these little girls in the brownie uniforms hanging over the edge of the boat feeling just that little bit worse for wear because it was very, very rough. It doesn't look it when you go out, but once you get out of the harbour, you are actually in the North Sea. And uh, yeah, it was very, very rocky and very rough. And I always remember thinking, that's it, I'm never going on a boat again. <laughs> Uh, obviously we did oh there's nothing in that one have i already done that one or did i run out of drums i must have run out oh i know what i did oh uh, i remember i've um put two together in the wrong one i think yeah i think there's two colors in there there's two different colors they don't look it but they are actually two separate colors that's eight nine eight and nine three eight. Yeah, they're a similar colour. So I'm not going to do anything with those. I think I'll uh, put those separately for now. And uh, yeah, I won't kick those down. Thank goodness I left the empty jar there. Otherwise, I'd have just gone willy nilly and just put those away. <laughs> Yeah, I did my favourite. Um, I had two colours out at once, which is always the wrong thing to do. Well, it is for me anyway. And uh, I picked the wrong bottle up. Instead of picking up the empty bottles, put the gems back in, I picked up the bottle that already had some in it and tipped those in and then realised I'd put the wrong colour in the wrong bottle. So I shall put that one back as well. Yeah, it's easily done. Well, it is for me anyway. I need as much help as I can get. <laughs> I think I just relax so much when I'm diamond painting that my brain just completely switches off. And uh, yeah, then I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I've just put those in a separate little bag. I'll just put them for donation um, because they are a very similar colour. And if you're doing a project that needs brown, you can maybe pick out which ones you want or whatever. Right, so three, seven, five, six, I think that is. Are they in the wrong order? No, they're not. Three, seven, five, six, right. I think they might be. I think I might have put some of these back the wrong way around, but there's not many left to do. So, three, seven, five, six. They look a different colour. They look um, not quite so peppermint cream greeny, but uh, it is that number. So we'll add those into there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you will get different colours with different dye lots. But anyway. Right, so that's those. Yeah, so the Yorkshire Bell. There used to be two. I can't remember the name of the other one. Um, but yeah, they were really, really popular and it was like part of going to Bridlington for the day, um, going to the seaside for the day and uh, going on the Yorkshire Bell. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we've uh, I've got a little bit of video of it um, going past as well. We're sat on the cliff top. It goes all the way from the harbour up to Flamborough Head 
and Flamborough Head is like where all the puffins and things are that we went to again, not last year, year before, and went and saw the little puffins um, sat on the cliff tops there. So, yeah, it's all a, a good bit of fun. And uh, yeah, getting sick is part of it. But yeah, if you could see the size of the boat now, it's tiny. It really is tiny. Um, it's like comparing one of our ferries to like a rowing boat comparing you know like the Yorkshire Bell to like a standard size ship <laughs> yeah they're only really little but I say when when we were little it was huge and uh, my first venture on a boat but oh dear yeah and then when we came off I'm sure it was Brown Owl said so does anybody want an ice cream now and we're all stood there looking really green round the gills saying no thank you <laughs> yeah it had to have been bad if it put me off ice cream <laughs> oh dear but yeah it was all part and parcel of it I'm pleased that the Yorkshire Bell is still on the go because it really is sort of part of Bridlington's history and um, yeah, we thought we'd been miles as well. It was like going abroad on a ship. We'll probably only do about two miles out <laughs> on the round trip. But yeah, it was good fun. It was. Uh, so we watched all that and we watched a few people on jet skis. Um, and they have a little pirate boat now as well, which is smaller than the Yorkshire Bell. Um, and it's got all the flagpoles and the pirate bits and pieces on it. But that only just comes out the entrance to the harbour and goes back in again. It doesn't go very far at all. And then there's speed boats and things going up and down there as well. So uh, it was all worth watching. And then, as I say, we watched some of the kite displays. So it was a really good day out. 3862. All right, 6 1. Six two. Oh yeah, it is the right colour. So yeah, we we just had a lovely weekend. It was a lovely, relaxing day, and then because it was still so nice by the time, it must have been about five o'clock ish. I think we got back to the car, and uh, somebody mentioned fish and chips. I can't remember who. So we sat in it, uh, fish and chips out of like a little box and paper, and uh, we just managed to get parked on the seafront. So we could overlook the sea um, and just eat our fish and chips in the car. And then after that, of course, we then had to have an ice cream. You can't have fish and chips and not have an ice cream afterwards. So we all had an ice cream as well. So we got home about seven, half past seven-ish on the evening. So it was quite a, a nice day out for us. And uh, got hubby out as well. So, yeah, it was good fun. We had a lovely day. So I'll... Uh, Oh, I'll put the video at the end here, so just watch it at the end of this one. <laughs> okay, right, let's just get this cut out. I'll just cut this one out and uh, get this put in a frame. It'll just go in a magnetic frame and go up. Now, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to put it downstairs on my uh, diamond painting wall or whether it's going to come and stay in my craft room with me and go on Scotty wall. I haven't made my mind up yet because it's Scotty, but it's Scotty plus this one. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it certainly is. All right. Two little doggies terrorising a little fuss cat up a tree. So, yeah. Cut round this one as well. Okay, oops, just left those edges there. Just try and angle a little bit underneath and get those done that side there. Okay, dark and get those done. Oops, I'm getting lost in my cutting out, forgetting to speak. <laughs> Chance would be a fine thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, um, I was a real chatterbox when I was at school. And uh, oh yeah, I used to get told off constantly for it. But it does me okay for you, Chobe, now. Never shuts up. <laughs> and as people always used to say, mainly when I was at work, actually, we always know where you are because we can hear you laughing. <laughs> 
I was never good, sure whether that was a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I'm hoping it was a good thing. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Just cut that one at the end there. Oh, just that little end is just playing up there. That's it. So I want this piece. And that will just go in my little packets. And I'll put that over there with that one. There to go in the bin and we'll just do this long edge and then it's all ready to go on the wall. Yay! There's you on this one, Millie. Oh, she's just come and sat on my foot now. It's not tea time yet. You're too early. Far too early. So she's been out for a walk this morning. She didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Had to encourage her, shall we say, to get out of bed. But we've had a busy weekend. We cleaned the garage out yesterday. Um, and it will be cleaned. Well, hoovered all inside the car because it was a little bit messy from us being out for the day. So he gave it a hoover with a little bit of help, of course. And uh, Millie chasing the hoover as well. Oh, my goodness, she never leaves it alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. What are you doing? What are you trying to get the hole back? <laughs> are you attacking it? You can't have it. <laughs> I can't put it down to see it. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's got under your chair. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's uh, this one now done and ready to go in a frame. So I hope you've enjoyed this little chat and seeing this completion. Uh, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.
It's only on a short string, they don't want it up at the minute, I suppose. And all the flying teddies are this Mario, or oh, yeah, this Mario, and is it Luigi, the one with the green hat?
Yeah, it's the Yorkshire Bell. I always remember thinking when I was listening it was a real big bird. Yeah, we went on it with the brownies. Yeah. What, you've got a little black fairy face, have you? Who's going straight after them? Me. <laughs> well, it's going from speed, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was green when I went on it. It's a lot rougher than you think because it's so small. <laughs> It's a, it's a special thing, stabilising it now. Oh, it'll be a lot better than it was when I went. I was like, it was the brownies when we went on yeah. it. Oh. Everybody was hanging over the edge. She was a speed demon. Driving car, to the end of the road, and she's making the lane. Don't you go right to the edge. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't want any accidents. You following Daddy? Come on then this way. Let's not get hit by kites.